So I am very, very particular about who I have in my house and who I have around me. So it was my son's birthday at the weekend and we decided to go to the pub up the road and have some food and have some drinks. So he had invited some people, some friends of his that I hadn't like met. I'd heard of these people but hadn't met them all. So it was the first time them meeting me, which is mum, which is a parent. So I was thinking, let's see, you know, with these kids and some of these adults, you know, what their behaviour is going to be like. So while we were out, we were talking about sort of past birthdays. So my son was like telling everybody about his 18th birthday, which happened in Ireland and how one of his friends um, was so, was got violently sick. Instead of getting sick in the toilet, he got sick in the sink and blocked the sink and didn't clear it up and... I was just like, that's disgusting, like, you're vile, mate. If you're going to be sick in someone's sink, at least clear it up or tell somebody. He didn't, he just left it, uh, but then admitted that it was him who did it. So I was like, yeah, he's not coming back again. I don't want him in my house. Didn't particularly like the kid anyway, so I was like, you're definitely not coming back. So anyway, we were telling all these different stories, and then... You know, everyone decided to get on the shot. So there was like tequila shots. We had tequila rose, normal tequila, coffee tequila. Then we had baby Guinness shots. And then it was costing us quite a lot of money. So I was like, let's pop to Tesco's, get some drink and take it back to the house. It was a really lovely day. The weather was lovely. And I thought, you know, we can sit in the garden. So everyone gets back to the house, everything's fine, everyone continues to drink, everyone's being really well behaved. And I was like, okay, some of these kids are really lovely. So it gets to a little bit later on and I'm stood in my kitchen and one of the guests has come down and announced very, very loudly that they have just done a shit in my toilet. But I wasn't to worry because he'd gone to my son's room to get some spray. And while they're telling me this, they're actually using their hands and showing me like the spraying movement that they did with the air freshener or can of deodorant. And said, I'm telling you that I've done a sheet in your toilet, but I've made sure it doesn't smell because I really want to be invited back to your house. So my daughter's looking at me. And I'm thinking, she's sitting there going, oh my God, not only has this person said this out loud, but she's thinking, I'm going to just be like, yeah, just get out, get the fuck out of my house. But I was thinking, it's my son's birthday. I'm not going to make a scene. I'm not going to kick off. I've just stored that away. And I was just like, yeah, I'll deal with this later on. So I was just like, right, okay. And then they've gone over and seeing a pair of my trainers, and they were like, oh my god, whose are these? And I'm thinking, I went, they're mine. And they went, what size are they? So I said, my size. She went, oh, I'm a size smaller, that's a shame. I would have I would have borrowed them. And I was like, would you now? So I'm beginning to think, yeah, you're taking the fucking piss now. Like, and first of all, I'd already said to everybody, all the guests, don't go upstairs, there's a toilet downstairs, we're in the garden. No need for anyone to go upstairs. The bedrooms are up there. I don't know some of these people. So I prefer you not walking through my house. Because I don't know what you're doing. But they had ignored all of that. Gone upstairs. Done a shit in my toilet. Gone into my son's room. Got his spray. Sprayed the bathroom. Come down and announced it. And then picked up a pair of my trainers. And was basically telling me that if we were the same size. That they'd be borrowing my trainers. Like I, I don't think so. Just, that just would never happen in a million years. So as the night goes on, this person then announces that they've gone to the toilet again. And I was noticing that they never announced it when they went for a wee. But they were announcing it every time they went for a shit. This person did a shit in my house three times. And every time they came down and announced that they'd gone and done a shit in my toilet. Did the spraying movement again. That I just found fucking bizarre. <laughs> and then each time they announced it. Which was three times. The reason they were telling me. Is because 
they wanted an invite round to my house again. We can all safely say this person will never, ever, ever be invited round to my house again. And what kind of fuckery and what kind of planet do you have to be on where you're meeting a parent for the first time, you've gone back to their house and you think that it is acceptable, good manners and good etiquette to announce to that parent that you've done a shit and that you've used spray because you'd like to have an invite back again.